And now uh, let's create a step definition from this feature file. And then uh, if you already have a uh, Cucumber plugin installed in your Eclipse, you just need to right click over here and uh, say run as Cucumber feature, right? If you click on it, you're gonna see that it will actually gonna run the entire feature. So the feature that we have written over here, it's been executed and you can see one scenario, one undefined, 10 steps, 10 undefined. So we have 10 steps that we need to implement, right? So these are the steps given when, 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 uh, okay, it has <laughs> mentioned everything with when, whereas what we have done over here is we mentioned given when and, and, and. That's fine. Uh, we at least got something out of it. So what we can do is we can copy the entire stuff from here, right? And we can create a step definition accordingly so that we need not to write all these things again, write manually. So this is what the benefit uh, of the Cucumber plugin. Uh, so we can write directly go to the step uh, package and we can create a new class where we can say search cars steps right and click on finish and where we can add all these steps over here right to import them all in one go do control shift o and wait for some time And all dependencies are being added from the Cucumber jars, right? And then we're going to see uh, when after that we have all ands, right? So I'll just change it to and. Import it. I mean, although it, it won't matter, it, it just, I mean, how it will be reported. When Once you look at the report, uh, it'll, go, it'll gonna show all ands over there, right? Then and then, right. Then and the last should be and. All right. So we're gonna fill up uh, the the step definitions. Uh, the, we're gonna add all the steps over here later on, right? So uh, before that, uh, we need to automate the website, and we need to find out the locators, uh, the page locators, and we need to define all the actions, right? And we need uh, to integrate Selenium as well, right? Because we need uh, a Selenium driver, which will actually gonna invoke the Chrome uh, browser or the Firefox browser, right? And do all the implicit and explicit ways. All these things, uh, we need to integrate it with Cucumber, right? So let's uh, get started. And uh, let's, uh, the very first thing we should do is to uh, define uh, something called a Selenium driver. So, I'll be creating a class over here and I'll name it as a Selenium driver class, right? So what I'll will be doing in Selenium driver, uh, we're gonna define our driver. I'll create it as a private static uh, Selenium driver, Selenium driver. Right. Right. So, what is the purpose of creating uh, the class reference over here? I'll let you know in some time, right? But before that, uh, we should uh, initialize web driver. So, we're going to say private static web driver driver. We'll import the web driver. Right, and but all we can do, we can initiate web driver wait as in the explicit wait. So the time we want the driver to wait explicitly, right? 
we can define the timeouts uh, so public uh, with final keyword static and timeout equal to 30 right then if you want to define a page load timeout you can do that thing as well to let's say 10 or 50 seconds it should not take more than 50 seconds to load the page right then defining a driver uh, as in we're gonna create a constructor and constructor I'll be making it as private right why private because uh, whenever we wanna whenever we'll be creating an object of uh, this selenium driver class all the time the constructor will be called and I don't want that if uh, I am actually defining driver equal to new chrome driver over here so every time when I create an object of selenium driver it should invoke a new browser right it should it should create an object of uh, chrome driver again and again right that 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 is what I don't want so this is something called as a singleton pattern that I am going to implement right now and what I'll be doing over here is that I will be uh, doing something like a setter and getter where I'll be getting the object of uh, this Chrome driver with the help of a private constructor itself but within the same class. So how are you going to do it? Uh, just be with me for some time. It will be very much clear to you. Let me design this class and then uh, I'm going to make you understand how uh, that thing will going to work. Right, so uh, over here, right now I'm hard coding Chrome driver. We can get it based on a condition as well, uh, like whether to launch Chrome or whether to launch Firefox, right? But so far, we'll, let's uh, first see that how we can integrate Selenium with Cucumber and try to run our very first test. Later on, we can do all these things, right? Run it on a Firefox, run it on IE, run it on different browsers, right? So let's first target Chrome Chrome browser, right? Then I'll say driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. I'm gonna maximize the window, right? Weights as well. I can define it over here. Web driver weight equal to new web driver weight driver and the timeout. That we have defined earlier <coughs> right same way uh, if you want to define the page load timeout as well so say driver dot manage dot timeout implicit weight implicit weight will be your timeout we'll define it for 30 seconds Let's say time unit dot seconds and same thing we're going to do it for a uh, page load and this should be the page load time should be 50 seconds Right, so the page should not take more than 50 seconds to load. That's it. That is all that will be defining it over here. And now we'll be creating some common keywords uh, where we'll be navigating to the URL, let's say. So I'm going to say public static void open page, which accepts string URL. Right, and I'm going to say driver.get and the URL, right? So whenever you want to navigate to a URL, just call this method open page. After that, uh, for getting the driver reference, I'll be creating a method, something like public static web driver get driver. And this should actually gonna return the driver. So whatever driver reference, that we want to get 
So this will actually gonna return it, right? And then uh, we're gonna create one method for setting up the driver. So it will be public static void setup driver. And here is where I'll be saying if the selenium driver equal to equal to null. So if this class object is null, then it should say selenium driver equal to new selenium driver. So whenever you want to create an object of this class, instead of uh, constructor being called and uh, like if you explicitly create an object anywhere else, the constructor will not be called because the constructor is private, right? So whenever you call this setup driver method, this will actually gonna call the constructor and will create an object of uh, the Chrome driver. So this method will be responsible for doing it, right? How this will gonna work? Uh, once we start designing our test, then I'm gonna show you how this will gonna work, right? So for the time being, let me uh, complete these methods whatever common methods that we need to create so this will actually going to act as a base class right so this will also going to have a method for public static void tear down method and tear down approach i'm going to say if the driver is not equal to null if the driver is not null then say driver dot close should close and driver dot quit. Should quit the session and make selenium driver equal to null. So this should end the session. Right. So these are some of the common methods uh, so far that we have created. We may be adding some more methods, more functionality, more utilities. Right. And let's see. Anything else that we are missing? Okay. So in the next lecture, uh, we'll be uh, start automating uh, the web page and we'll start uh, creating the locators and actions, right?